A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban, and I will be your guide in this video. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time our topic is develop a brand name. Be ready as we start, learn and enjoy our topic for today. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 Brand name is a name, symbol, or other feature that distinguishes a seller's goods or services in the marketplace. Your brand is one of your greatest assets because your brand is your customer's overall experience of your business. Brand strategy is a long-term design for the development of a popular brand in order to achieve the goals and objectives. A well-defined brand strategy shakes all parts of a business and is directly linked to customer needs, wants, emotions, and competitive surroundings experts believe that a good brand can result in better loyalty for its customers, a better corporate image, and more relevant identity. As more customers continue to differentiate between emotional and experienced companies, a brand may be the first step forward in your competition instead of price points and product features. The question is, can you build a brand that truly talks to your audience? Branding is a powerful and sustainable high-level marketing strategy used to create or influence a brand. Branding is a strategy to distinguish products and companies and to build economic value to both customers and to brand owners. Is the process of positioning and establishing a positive view of the company, and its product in your customers' minds. Good branding is when your customer believes in your goods and services. Different Types of Brand Name Eponymous, a type of brand name which uses a name after a particular person. A business name is derived from a person's name, usually a founder or a historical figure. Example Dell is named after Michael Dell, the company's founder. Adidas was named after A.D.I. Dassler, the company's founder. Toyota is derived from the Toyota family name. Tesla is named after Nikola Tesla, the historic electrical engineer. Starbucks was named after Starbuck, a character in Moby Dick. McDonald's was named after founder Richard McDonald. Louis Vuitton is the name of the fashion brand's founder. Honda's name comes from its founder, Soichiro Honda. Descriptive, company names that state the company's product or business. A brand name that illustrates what is the goods or services. Is presenting explanations about the characteristics of someone or something. Example. Three day blinds refer to the company's commitment to providing blinds in three days. The weather network started as a television network dedicated to weather. Sports Illustrated started as a magazine about sports with lots of pictures. Shopper Drug Mart is a pharmacy with additional shopping. Hotels.com is where you would go to book a hotel. The Home Depot is a big space with home products. General Motors because it was a general holding company for car brands. Acronymic sets of letters that form brand names. A set of initials signifying a name or organization with each letter is pronounced separately. Example. UPS stands for United Parcel Service. SAP is short for Systems, Applications and Products in Data Processing. KFC stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken, which doesn't sound as healthy. IKEA stands for Ingvar Cam Prad, the founder, Elm Durid, the farm in which he grew up, and Agunnarid, the village where he grew up. 
HSBC stands for Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. HP is the first letter of the last names of the founders Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard. Associative, brands that associate the concepts described by words to the brand. Reflecting the meaning of the word back to the brand. Example. Apple associates with the simplicity of the fruit. Amazon associates with the scale of the Amazon River, which is the world's largest river. Google is associated with the size of a Google which is a very large number. GoPro associates go with adventure and pro with the professional video quality. Nike is the goddess of victory, and they love being associated with victory. Pampers are associated with the concept of pampering a baby. Suggestive, names that use existing words and their concepts to hint at what the business does. Characteristic composed of words or word parts that suggest but do not exactly describe the good or service with which they are associated. It can function as a metaphor, analogy, or association. Example. The you in YouTube's name refers to any person who can upload, and tube refers to the tubes in CRT televisions. Sports Center is the center of everything sports. Pinterest is a combination of pin and interest, both concepts in their product. Coca-Cola refers to the original drinks too main in coca leaves, and cola nuts. Pepsi is a shortened word for dyspepsia which means indigestion. The drink was originally sold as a cure for stomach issues. Non-English, business names based on words from other languages. A type of brand name that is not an English word. Example. Zappos is a short version of the Spanish word zapatos, meaning shoes. Volkswagen means people's car in German. Samsung means three stars in Korean. Patagonia is a mountain range in Argentina and Chile. Lego means play well in Danish. Hyundai, or Hanja in Korean, means modernity. Budweiser means a boot vice, the region of Germany that inspired the lager. Hula Commonly used branding strategy. 1. Purpose, every brand makes a promise. But in a market in which customer confidence is little and budgetary observance is great, it's not just making a promise that separates one brand from another but having a significant purpose. 2. Consistency The significance of consistency is to avoid things that don't relate to or improve your brand. Consistency aids in brand recognition, which fuels customer loyalty. 3. Emotion there should be an emotional voice, whispering by me. This means you allow the customers have a chance to feel that they are a part of your brand. You should find ways to connect more deeply and emotionally with your customers. Make them feel part of the family and use emotion to build relationships and promote brand loyalty. 4. Flexibility, marketers should remain flexible in this rapidly changing world. Consistency targets at setting the standard for your brand, flexibility allows you to adjust and differentiate your approach from your competition. According to Kevin Butelman, effective identity programs require sufficient consistency to be identifiable, but sufficient variation to keep things fresh and human so if your old tactics don't work anymore, don't be afraid to change. It doesn't mean it worked in the past it may still work now. 5. Employee Involvement It is equally important for your employees to be well versed in how they communicate with customers and represent the brand of your product. 6. Loyalty Loyalty is an important part of brand strategy. At the end of the day, the emphasis on a positive relationship between you and your existing customers sets the tone for what potential customers can expect from doing business with you. 7. 
competitive awareness do not be frightened of competition. Take it as a challenge to improve your branding strategy and craft a better value in your brand. Branding is a marketing practice where a company creates a name, a symbol, or design belonging to the company that is easily recognized. This helps to identify a product and distinguish it from other goods and services. It allows customers and clients to know what to expect from your company. It is a way of separating you from the competitors and explaining what is it you offer that makes you the better choice. Your brand is built to be a representation of who you are as a business, and how you wish to be perceived. Steps How to Develop a Brand Name 1. Research brand names in use Know which brand names are currently being used in its target foreign market and evaluate the effectiveness of these brand names. 2. Identify 3 to 5 goods or service characteristics Determine how the goods or service should be represented to the target market. Pinpoint the traits of the goods or service that distinguish it from competitors and that would help convince consumers to purchase it over the competition. 3. Identify 3 to 5 organizational characteristics Determine how the organization itself should be represented to the target market. Identify the personality traits of the organization, e.g. efficient, unique, and supportive, that would resonate with the target audience. 4. Create buzzwords using the characteristics derived from steps 2 and 3, create a list of all the words and phrases that can be associated with each characteristic or personality trait. If the brand name should incorporate the type of goods or service being offered, Make sure that the words and phrases on the list correspond with the nature of the offering. 5. Envision the brand name Consider how the list of words and phrases generated would look if featured on a billboard sign or on the product's packaging. Include possible graphic images and print typefaces for enhancing the appearance of these phrases. It might help to consider how these names would sound when spoken. Throughout this process, it will become easier to reduce the list of words and phrases down to only the most effective and captivating. 6. Test possible brand names Once the list is reduced to 10 to 15 names, test the reactions to these names through focus groups or surveys of potential customers. 7. Check for availability of use Once a few top brand names have been selected, Check whether these names are available for use or are already being used by another organization. The way to do this is through a trademark search. For a fee, advertising, or marketing firms, or certain attorneys, can conduct this type of research. Another option is to submit a formal request for a trademark or service mark, and wait to see whether it is approved. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 I hope you enjoyed, learned something new about our topic on develop a brand name. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, to also learn about this topic. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos, hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. This is Teacher Luma Ban YouTube channel.